All right, we got wheels. So we're going to meet up with the Patriarch right now. We're going to meet up with Big Daddy. Give us some food and bullets and stuff. Having played D&D &D last week, I'm very into this right now. A little tabletoppy. Welcome, Rangers. You may approach the Patriarch. Okay. Where is he? Is this him right here? Three. When there were fifty. Cold logic says I should turn you away. This guy is that there very aren't big enough dick. of you left to do <clears throat> the job at hand. But that Dorsey ambush was my fault. And I owe you more than explanations and apologies. So Here's something more tangible. The Dorseys didn't just attack you. They attacked my city. This one was trying to burn down our jail. If you want some vengeance for what was done... He is pretty neat looking. He's yours. Be my guest. Well done. <laughs> I wish I could give you reputation all increased with the Patriarch's Maybe marshals. Before all this is over, I will. But for now, let me address your immediate needs. In addition to this base and the aid I promised your general, I'll be giving you the resources to return your force to full strength. Recruiting, training. And equipping. Okay. It's not enough. I know. The men and women you lost can never be replaced, but it's what I can give you. I hope you'll accept it. All we want is to complete our vengeance on the Dorsheys, but we won't say no to help. Better than nothing as long as our deal's still in place. No deal. If the ambush was your fault, then you owe us. Give us our supplies and let us go home. I feel like I don't want to fuck with this guy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act a little cold and be like, I want to murder these motherfuckers. Vengeance is fine. Honorable even. Just don't forget that your primary reason for being here is to save my nation. That's how Arizona gets what it needs. Okay. Save Colorado to save Arizona. No. <sighs> Introductions. My name That's is a hammer? Paul Buchanan. I own Colorado. Though you'll meet some who disagree. That is a ridiculous this weapon. This is your new home. From here, you'll aid my people and, more importantly, do the job I brought you here to do. Now. Yes, Joe? Pardon, Patriarch. It's Daisy. An update on the Garden of the Gods? A warhammer right. with two stone fists. Sorry, Rangers. Wrapped in red, Still white, and blue. Fire. Two of my best are waiting for you inside. That's Dari spectacular. One of the marshals and my old friend Sergei Gretzky. Go see him. I'll be in when I'm done here. Okay. No sudden moves around the patriarch. Jody, you're I fucked need up. I rest a spell. Catch my breath. That all right with you? <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Oh, man. More every day. Are you missing Arizona? This place is nice and all. <clears throat> kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. We gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. People are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry. Okay. I just want to get this done and get back to later. All right, bye, Jody. Anything else down here? There's puppies. No 
no sudden moves around the Patriarch. Yeah, understood. I'm guessing that I, I know that I'm supposed to go inside. All right, we'll we'll advance the quest. Just want to see if there's any random anything. Buried items. Nice, my perception. Human skull. More a bunch of junk, but you know. Not a chance. Anything else buried around here? Good old perception. <clears throat> Welcome, Rangers. I'm Marshal Darius Kwan, and this here's Sergei Gradsky. <coughs> Gradsky? <laughs> Good to meet you, Rangers. Glad to see some friendly faces. Been rough around here these last few days. Dorsey's attacked us too. Snuck inside Colorado Springs and killed a lot of people. Situation's under control now. Mostly. Okay. No idea. Something must have triggered the old security system. Trouble is, there's a bunch of angry robots guarding the computer that shuts them off. That sucks. How you deal with them is your call. Your base. Your rules. Yeah, weird, huh? They weren't active when we looked the place over a few days back, but... Ah! Let's talk after you kill the- I can Why do I have to kill the alarms? Like, why can't you guys handle the alarms? You- you're here. Was there something there? Uh, pick lock. Impossible. She doesn't have it either, huh? Attacking objects. If your squad skills aren't high enough, sometimes brute force will still work. Yeah, I don't know about that. <clears throat> Take me over here. Picking impossible. I, I don't think blowing that door down is going to do it either. Come on, Dad, let's go. Survivor bot? It sounds so good. You pet feed? Sneaky shit. Let's use sneaky shit. Your security system is showing signs of neglect. We're from IT. We're here to fix you. This is great. Can I use this terminal? Yeah, the Atari sound is amazing. Terminal is dusty and old, but when you press the power button, it flickers to life. The computer beeps and whirs for the first time in years. Gobermont. As it boots up, security alert flashes across the display. Every attempt to access a menu is met with command access only. Eventually, you query the machine for command. Command's identity replies, command empty. Designate new command. Uh, install yourself as command. A camera flashes above the monitor and terrible photos of your face slowly appear on the screen line by line. Command recognized. Security alert canceled. All right. Here well we go. done, Rangers. Good to see the place up and running. <laughs> now, where were we? Oh, yes. The reason. As you may know, I have a daughter and two sons. Liberty, Liberty Valor, Valor, and Victory. Victory. My God. <clears throat> two of them fired against me, and the third blackens the Buchanan name with every breath he takes. Consequently, I banished him. They've been skulking in the shadows ever since, but lately there's been rumors that I'm on my last legs. Lies, of course, but apparently my dear children believe them, and they've started making new plans. Okay. What? You think I want to kill my kids? You think I'm even afraid of them? Well, 
I'm not worried about my children defeating me, Ranger. Seems like the they easiest. Won't. Not route. even liberty. What worries me is the destruction they'll wreak as they fail. I'm probably gonna end up they'll killing your kids. So I'm gonna be honest. They'll burn everything I've accomplished to ash. That's why they have to be stopped before they can start. That's why you, Rangers, have to find them and bring them home to me ASAP. I feel like I'm going to bring them home in body bags. And when I say bring them home, I mean bring them home alive. They're my blood. Kill them and we'll have a problem. Do I make myself clear? You've already done the impossible by making it here. I trust you. Find a way to make it possible. Okay. Now, victories hold up in Aspen. Valors under the protection of the Gippers in Denver. The Gippers? And they sound cute. And an army against me somewhere out on the Eastern Plains. Anything else you need to know? Um. What do you want to know? You must have plenty of competent people in Colorado. Why ask us to deal with your children? Divided loyalty, that's why. I trust my guards, but they don't leave my side. Ever. Everybody else. Everybody else is making plans for when I'm gone. The hundred families, the gippers, the in marshals. A lot of quests. They're all out for <clears> the <throat> And they know my kids would make good figureheads. Give them some legitimacy. Any Coloradan I send to bring Vic, Val, and Libby back to home, Libby. I think they'll get a better deal elsewhere. But not you. I'm the only one who can <clears throat> save your people. Nobody <laughs> else can get supplies to Arizona before they starve to death. That's why it's you who's doing this. You've got the only loyalty that works. The loyalty of self-interest. The loyalty of self-interest. Hmm. Boy's never been right in the head. Since he was a baby, he'd torture cats, terrorize oh, the he's servants, a sociopath. the house on fire, and he's only got worse. The things he's done to the women he finds. Anyway, I finally had enough <laughs> and put the little monster under house arrest up in Aspen. Guess they weren't prepared because he escaped a while ago and then came back with a gang of freaks and turned the place into a slaughterhouse. This sounds terrible. Now he's on the radio, laughing about what he's gonna do to his hostages. Weird characters, and yeah. Daring me to come after him. He, uh, claims he's captured some rangers as well. Great. Don't get your hopes up. Vic likes to play with hostages. Might not be much left by the time you find them. Soft, spoiled. He's me! Computers all day instead of learning the arts of diplomacy and war. Finally packed him off when he accidentally crashed my security systems. Accidentally. Right his sister's little coup attempt. Made him my <clears throat> official ambassador to the Gippers. Hoping he'd do to their systems what he'd done to mine. That was a mistake. He took his revenge by convincing them to cut off oil shipments to my city. No oil means no heat, no light, and no food for my people. So getting Valor back and resuming oil shipments from the Gippers has to happen now. All right. No, but the Gippers are tough and well-armed. So Val is a pussy, but he's surrounded by beasts, basically. Bad boys. Liberty's got more brains and cunning than both her brothers put together. She's the only one who could actually run Colorado. Problem is, oh, slave state, fun. It's a goddamn slave state. Everyone in chains. Everyone wouldn't worry about her for now, though. Best to wait until you got a little more firepower. She's gonna be well protected. Okay. <sighs> She's already tried once. Got all the way to the palace steps before we chased her off. She's been licking her wounds out east ever since. You'd better. Anything else? Uh-huh. The last <clears throat> dregs of a treacherous family. So these are gonna be kind of like the pussy boys I gotta deal with a lot? Years ago, but... But... <sighs> Mistakes linger, Rangers. I know that I think Val and Libby were behind the attack. Possibly. But I know the Dorsey's from the old days. They don't take orders well. 
Then again, I wouldn't have guessed they'd have the guts to attack both you and Colorado Springs at the same time. So somebody put some fire in them. Okay. My staff and I coordinated the details of your arrival using coded transmissions <clears> on the radio <throat> frequencies we thought were secure. Obviously, they were not. And you paid for it. Okay. I take full responsibility. Good. What else do you need? I wish. Give me things. Of course. Now, if you want a chance to impress me, and maybe get a little payback, that call I got out, she's having trouble rousting some Dorseys who have been holed up in the Garden of the Gods. The Garden of the Raven Gods. Alpha. Why don't you go give her a hand? Show us what the Rangers can do. Gaki, huh? Gaki's uh, good. Gaki's good. All right, let's move oh, out. Oh, we, did we ding? I think we dinged just for ending that conversation. Is that a teleporter? What? Do, what is that? So we're gonna help these guys with the mission to start off with, is what it looks like. I think. Mission log. Okay. J. Uh, before we go, though, anything else here we can mess with? I love them. I love them. I love the servitors. Or whatever the hell they are. Hello, container. What do you got? Monies and a nipple ring. Oh, a nose ring. When can I start selling my junk? Also, actually, did we level up? Or was I... We did level up. Inventory intro. Welcome to the inventory. Limits the number of items you can carry at once. Okay. There are no limits on the number of items you can carry. Oh, there are no limits on the number of items you can carry at once. Spectacular. You can right-click any of your items to see if extra actions can you can do with them. For example, this is an easy way to quickly heal up your rangers after combat. Understood. Character stats, bottom left screen. Any weapon can be broken down into spare parts by field stripping it. Okay. Field stripping has a chance to grant, grant weapon mods. All right. Were there any weapons we wanted to ditch? I don't think so. Increasing attributes. We already did this, didn't we? Oh, no, this is different. Attributes are different than skills. Dang. Okay. <clears throat> we have one attribute point. You have no quirks. So, you, your awareness is high as fuck already. Um, you don't really need strength, but honestly, you could use speed. Your physical quickness and reaction time, strike first, strike true. Oh, no, I guess not. I thought that was going to be movement. Coordination. Physical condition. Self-control. And health. Take care of your body. It will take care of you. I'm going to see your sense of surroundings. You can raise your nose. To keep your eyes. She's already got pretty good awareness. But we could pump it up more. Oh, yeah. I want her luck up. <clears throat> because her getting crits with that big gun. That's some sexy shit. All right. Kick ass. Let's kick up her lock picking. I, I really... Uh, what is toaster repair? Putting a toaster back together is like putting a piece of pre-war world back together. What the hell are the... To what are the toasters? I got... I gotta know what... I gotta come across a toaster. You are more or less a straight-up sniper, but it would be nice if you could also use... Uh, that weapon I have on your back... What is it? A sturdy battle rifle. Reflexibility... Uh, sorry. Reliability and stopping power. Requires automatic weapons. Okay. So, I think that she should have a little bit more than just the sniping for when people are, like, right up in her face. So, let's start her on automatic weapons. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, confirm that. You now. <clears throat> Yeah, I just want you to be a big, burly dummy. So let's keep kicking that up. Three more points here. I like you with the sneaky shit. Oh, wait, did that cost... So that cost me... This is going to cost me two points for more melee. I mean, he is a melee boy. 
We probably don't need it right now, though. Yeah, kick up your explosives. I just want you to be punches and bombs. That's what you're gonna be. And we have one more point. <clears throat> Do I want to give you any more skills just yet? I feel like small arms will be good for him at some point. Because he can get up he can get up sort of close if he can't get close enough to stab someone, maybe he can put a bullet in them. Somebody should have first aid. Let's be honest. There's a lot of shit that we ha we've seemed to have needed first aid for, and we haven't been able to use Rangers. it. Come talk to me when you good job, Rangers. What do you got? Nice to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quiet enough to talk, let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Greatsky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. Hi again, Rangers. Damn sorry about your people. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruit. And I already got you one of the best. <coughs> Meet Marcelo Gonzalez. Marcelo Gonzalez. Wizard, radio technician and former dispatcher for the marshals. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Should help you out. If you want to check... Okay. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Speak to Sergeant Gratesky to, to hire new Rangers for your squad. squad. Your squad can have to six members. No more than four can be Rangers. The other two slots may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Klon. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially Rangers. Understood. Um... My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody, Nobody can be graded can be everything. everything. So, pick recruits who are... And Understood. you can always round out your squad with... F Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. So, four people we can basically have. Commander Sniper. New recruits. Nice! All right, well, I don't want another sniper. A mechanic, a survivalist, a brawler, an infiltrator, a hacker. I think I might want a hacker. He's got energy weapons and shit. A traitor, a modder, combat medic, trooper, modder, enforcer. Uh, let's get a hacker. Then we can have one more, right? And somebody who's like... I don't want another sniper. A brawler. Combat medic. Let's get- I don't know what a modder is exactly. I assume he can make us some good shit. That might be who we want. Or just, maybe just a basic trooper. We just don't have, like, a regular old bullet boy. Armor modding, weapon modding. Nah, we want someone with weapon modding, I think, right? Yeah, let's get someone with weapon modding. And we can't do this, right? Yeah, okay. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. All right. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. <laughs> Okay. So these guys are just basic assholes. Now that we've got that sorted. Let's talk about the next. Now you're the boss here, so I'm not going to tell you what to do. But getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. <clears throat> anyway, okay. your call. Colorado Springs is straight out the main gate. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Okay. Can you and Quan tell us more about yourselves, you two volunteer? What's the deal with the alarms for the robots? Not sure exactly. We were going to get the place cleaned up before you got here. But then the Dorseys attacked the city, so... Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Okay. Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back before that recently it's been mostly outlaws and refugees we should could be what set off the alarms. okay so there could be some idiots living in here <clears throat> yeah what is the deluge? the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire because well that's what it was mm. 
Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Okay. Gonzalez, he's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, nice. it'll become another member of your squad. Gotcha. Uh, well, forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, sure. I join your squad, at least until you find your feet. Great. I'm Come at along. your disposal. Lead the way. <laughs> Companions. You've recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member, unlike the rangers you create. Companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. You can have the six characters in squad, two of them are companions. Yes, we know that part. Oh, where's my... Okay, there's my girl, too. Alright, so is this door open now? That was closed before? Can we get in here? What the shit? I feel like that was a bug. <clears throat> oh, hey, howdy. What's up, prisoner? Waving at you through the bars of a, j of a cell is a pale, real thin man with a matted f hair and fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed hey grin. Hi. Hey, well, dudes. Well, let's talk. Haven't seen you before, have I? Oh wow, wow! Hey. <laughs> New uh, landlords. That's cool, man. Cool. I hope taking over is uh, going good for you. What? Uh, what brought you out here? Oh, sure. Top, Top secret, secret, brother. So you're part of some important organization. You got it right. You look like you're uh, real important, you know? Yeah, I, can I am. see it. Super important. You're pretty high. Do you have um, more people in your group? Oh, so not many then, huh? Mm. Don't worry. You'll make new friends, I bet, though. <laughs> You are, uh, oh yeah, man. Questions for you. My name? Uh, Harry? Yeah, uh, Ned? Harry? Nick Booger? Ned, Dickens? Ned, Lyle? Something like that. Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. It's been a long time since I thought about that, man. Wow. Been a longer time since How long you been in here? I, I kind of been here for a while. Oh, man, yeah. Uh, you're calling this one, Rangers, but really... I just let Nate. I'd, uh, I'd really, really, really like to get out of here. Really? Huh. Really? Oh, man. Yeah, man. You're just the tops. The okay. Bee knees. The bee's knees. Big time. Brig Thanks, Master man. Key. Thanks so much. Is this guy going to try to kill us? He kind of sounds like a smoker oh, villain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Uh, Thank you so much, man. I owe you big. Uh, thanks for uh, the assist, dude. I, uh, I, I wonder if that's going to bite me in the ass. So did my hacker automatically go to it? Check recent activity logs for this terminal. You comb through the logs, culling ancient messages and routine system locations, and you have a list of recent activations. Operating system wake up initiated, wake up complete. Credentials rejected, credentials accepted, login admin, password admin, loading default admin operations, backup generators, initialize, automated security, lockdown initiated, login required, credentials required, credentials rejected. Okay. Everything appears normal for the moment. Okay. What's up with this guy? Body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes and has been dead long enough for the body to get cold, but not long enough to rot. First aid? How can I have first aid this? He's dead. The man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. His shoes have holes in their soles. In one of the pockets, you find a half-eaten, sweet-smelling mushroom. Interesting. Lee Sing William Crash. Devlin. 
Crash is the hacker. Devlin's the modder, right? Yeah, I think so. The man sounded like a jazz singer. <laughs> Burn the book. I hate ISPs, guys. Like, I don't see anything wrong, but it's buffering all the time. 